Hey everyone, it's Bree. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Spiegel Mom Scraps Design Team. And I'm gonna be working with the Balloon Festival Sequin Mix that's part of the May release. And I'll also be working with a couple of my paper person kits as well as my inks and stamps. Off camera, I stamped out my title, which is Pinch, Peel, Eat, Repeat, uh, which goes with my uh, photo, which is of my son eating some crawfish on a sunny day. So he loves crawfish, and I thought it would be fun to have like a cute title and to stamp it out. I did do it off camera because I didn't want my head and all that to be in the frame, and I... I've always liked to stamp. I've always loved stamping. I just don't usually do it in a lot of my scrapbooking layouts so or scrapbook layouts, and so I've had a lot of fun lately. All right, so let's talk real quick about the brand new acetate sheets that are now available in the sequin uh, or Spiegel Mom Scrap Shop. They are so, like, I don't know. They are so much better than the acetate sheets that I have, like my transparencies. Just they're shiny, they're clear, they are just fabulous. And um, so of course I'm making a little shaker embellishment using one of these shapes that I fussy cut from a three by four card or a three by, no, it's a cutout paper, but it's in the shape, the size of a three by four. I'm sorry, like this is an, I think this is my fourth time doing my voiceover. So yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, so I've created my little shaker. I'm spooning my sequins into there or into like the little, pocket and I do jam pack it because I don't care if it shakes or not this is just to showcase these specific sequins now a lot of the times I do create shakers not only because I like them and I like the way they look on layouts but I like some of these mixes just look so great together Jody really puts a lot of thought into them and yes a lot of them are great like if you sew them or if you like um like uh put some glue down and and lay them you know on your layout I love doing that um but I, I just, this is a, a way for me to showcase how pretty they look all together. And that's why I, it's always my go-to. And I love to find different ways to make shakers. Like I can, I try to like look at a piece of paper or look at an embellishment or a sticker or something and see, okay, well, how can I turn that into some kind of shaker pocket an embellishment, like any kind of thing. So anyways, yeah. So that one was super simple to create. I just cut the middle of it adhered the acetate, did some foam tape around the perimeter, spooned in the sequins, and then backed it with some vellum. Here, all I'm doing is choosing some different pattern papers from both the February and March kits, and I'm just loosely and messy, messily uh, layering them underneath my photo. I do distress the edges. I did tear some of the bottom um, portions of a few of the papers, and I'm going to adhere them all together and then um, add a few staples to the side. Now, my son loves crawfish. Like <laughs> when it's crawfish season, he's so happy. And we ended up having like a food truck night at uh, in our neighborhood and we were swimming. And so my older son walked down to go get his little brother some crawfish. And I think that he got three pounds and then ate all of them to himself. Because I mean, I could eat a few things like a few crawfish, but I, it's really, it, they're good, but I can, you know, once I have like maybe five or 10, like I'm over it, like it's fine. And my oldest son, he, eh, he's okay. He doesn't really care for them. So uh, Elijah just is in heaven and we'll eat. And he, he doesn't care that we don't eat them because he gets it all to himself. <laughs> so anyways, I took my big mama foam tape out and I did um, add some underneath my layers to make sure that everything was level and even. And I'm going to adhere my little shaker embellishment down I did trim off all of the little sunbursts to me it didn't really look like a sun um when I fussy cut it out of the you know the cut apart sheet it looked kind of like an organism or you know like I don't know some graphic looking thing so I just trimmed them all off and it looked so much better like that um and now so in these little paper person kits they are like small kits so they're they're great but I I like all the things <laughs> and I like having options. So since the March kit went with the Some Days collection by Pink Fresh Studio, I did pull in a few elements from that collection to add. So I fussy cut some florals and I added a few floral ephemera pieces like a chipboard um, sticker as well as, I don't know if I added any puffy stickers. Yeah, but the most, the majority of those florals are from the pattern paper that I just fussy cut because I felt like I needed a little, like a few more things. I thought it was a little too empty and I do like to add layers and, you know, pop things up on foam and all that. Um, I don't think I do too much like else to this layout. I do, you know, I'm just adding in some stickers here. I do uh, end up 
putting uh, some of the white sequins from the mix uh, around my page just to bring in another element of the sequins, but also just since they are white, it is hard to see on the final photos, but they are there and it's just another element of interest. So I'm going to take my um, glue in my fine liner bottle. I believe it's Scotch Tacky Glue and my Crystal Katana because I love that thing. It's so easy and like I've said before, sequins stick, stick to my fingers and this makes this whole process go so much quicker for me. So I'm just going to add a small dot and then uh, add the sequins in taking care with the size um, of each one and making sure that they're kind of spread out. So I've got some big ones, little ones, and medium sized ones scattered and it was just a fun finishing touch. I did add some tangled thread underneath a few different areas, but that's about it. So here is an up close shot. I'm sorry for my crooked, like I don't know why my camera was crooked, but yeah, so here are the sequins, my little shaker embellishment up close, and all of those fun layers. So yeah, use my code Brianna15 to, to save you 15% off in the shop. And uh, thanks again for watching. So here, uh, here are some up close shots, and we'll see you at my next one. Bye.